Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you to a, one of my favorite, kind of like antiques, well it is an antique store. I'm gonna take you there. They're having their Christmas opening and all the booths should have their uh, vintage Christmas stuff out. So I'm gonna go hunt for some bargains. I'm also doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So I'm gonna look for some things to throw in there as well. I'm not gonna film the whole store, just the fun, you know, vintage Christmas stuff that they have. So I hope I can find some good stuff. I'm not looking to spend too much money. But anyways, let's go ahead, jump into that, and then I'll see you back here for the haul. All right, so they had a whole table of cookies and as you can see different snacks and stuff so i thought that was so fun they were also doing a raffle which i did not win but that was also really cool to participate in i would say that for the most part all of the booths had christmas out at least over half of them um so it was just so exciting and it was chilly outside so it was just a really fun day I didn't really focus on showing the prices on every single thing and the price tags and the writing is really small so it was kind of hard to get the camera to pick up on that but obviously it's an antique store and the prices are going to vary according to the person and whose booth it is. All right, so this item is not Christmas, but I fell in love with this. I don't even know what it went to. It's just like a piece of carved wood. It was $29, I think. That was too much for me to spend this day, but if it's there when I go back and I can purchase it, I really love that. Y'all know that I love and collect vintage Christmas aprons. This specific Santa face on here is one of my favorite images in like vintage Christmas decor. They had it priced at $22. That's too much for me to purchase for an apron. So I did leave it there, but you'll see that image pop up a couple of times and something about it I just love. I also loved this figurine. $3, not necessarily for Christmas, but she could easily go into Christmas decor, but I decided I have too many figurines, so I did leave her there. I have seen these pieces at Goodwill multiple times over the last few years. She had this one priced at $20. I think they're like hand painted pieces by people. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Those hobbyist pieces, but I see those often. Not really interested in it. I loved those doily ornaments. I definitely had to stop and look through every pile of Christmas postcards. 
that's one of my favorite things to collect. Y'all should know this about me by now. So I did want to find a few to possibly put into the giveaway. So I do look through quite a few of those in this video. This little booth right here, I really liked this little red envelope. I didn't even look inside it because it was $10 and that annoyed me. So she had hers priced really high. Y'all look at all these ironstone mugs. This is why I can't find any because this lady's out here buying them all. And it also reminded me of Genevieve. If y'all watch her channel, you know she's ironstone crazy and she would probably walk out of here with like 35 of those. I want this so bad for the bedroom, but I cannot spend $28 on a piece that I would only pull out for Christmas. If it was neutral, maybe I would do it, you know, to use all the time, but I think it's so gorgeous. Look at all of this. Look at all the little Napco pieces. It's all so cute and it's in a locked case so you know it's expensive. I didn't even bother trying to see any of the prices. Also loved this stocking, but I think it was $24. That's just too much for me, but I love the Victorian image on it. Okay, 
y'all, the house is a wreck. I'm not finished decorating and I've been neglecting my responsibilities. Anyways, let me show you the things that I do not have styled yet, but there's four other pieces that I'll take you around and show you. And then I did get a couple of like ephemera -y pieces for ephemera -y is not a word. I got some ephemera pieces for the giveaway. Let's start with these because they were the first thing that I put in my basket and I knew as soon as I put them in there that I was going to end up putting them back but I was just overly excited and there was people everywhere so I was like well what if someone takes them so I put these in there and then the man came around and took all of our stuff to the front and I just I didn't want to tell them to take it off because they had already rang everything up anyways I got two of these for eight dollars they're like these vintage Victorian inspired I think um, ornaments they have this really cool image here which I love and as you can see, they're really fragile. They definitely have some age to them. I'll probably just stick these on the tree in the bedroom, which is not decorated yet. So I got those. And then this will also probably go on our bedroom tree. I love this. It is so cute. I love that greenish teal color with the glitter. And I, I was hoping to find some pine cone ornaments for this tree, which turned out way more traditional than I expected. Um, but I was hoping to find some like brown pine cone ornaments like this. Not real pine cones, but anyways, didn't, didn't find those. This was $3. And then I got a postcard. Y'all know how I feel about my antique postcards, especially Christmas. I thought the image on this one was gorgeous. It says a Merry Christmas. It's not stamped or dated. It does have someone's name written on there. Um, and it was 50 cents, so had to have that. And then this is not Christmas, but Garrett grabbed this and said, this is marked down to $3, put it in your cart. So I did. Um, I do have one similar, but it's silver and that's always bothered me. So I love that this one has the brass kind of detail, which I love much more. So I'm excited to tuck that away and use that in the future. Okay, now I'm gonna take you around to a few different spots and show you what else I purchased and then we'll jump in to the giveaway. All right, y'all know I got those Santa, little Santa mugs for $4.50 a piece. There was no way they were staying there. So what I did was I hooked them using a tree or ornament hook. I hooked them to the bottom of this ribbon which is holding these wreaths and they're just kind of dangling in the center of the wreaths. This one is a tad bigger than this one but they were both $4.50 and I'm in love with them and I really like the way they look here in these wreaths. All right, so it's a little dark over here in this corner of the living room, but this is also something that I picked up today. It was a butter pack, kind of looks like red transfer wear. It was $6, but last time that I was there, I passed on it and I said, if it's here and I come back, I'm gonna get it. So I went ahead, purchased it for $6. It's not stamped, but I just have it here. It's a little greeting card on it. I'll take the sticker off now, but. Just have that there. And then the last item I purchased is not Christmas, but look at this trophy. I had to have it. It was $29, but the booth was 15% off. So I got it for like 26 something. It's not engraved. So I think that's why it was a little cheaper. She had a couple more in there that were more expensive, but I've been wanting one of these for so long. I hope to one day have more. For now, this is where I've put it, but I may, you know, move it around and keep trying a few different things. It would look cute with the bottle brush tree in it as well. All right, now let me go ahead and share the little bundle of items for this giveaway. I'm gonna start with this. This is vintage. I got this from an estate sale where there was tons of vintage. So um, I've had it for a few years and I thought I would just throw it in here. He is a mug of sorts, I guess. Uh, but he's just cute to set out on a shelf or a countertop or something. It is glossed. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, I think it's just like a hobby piece that someone was supposed to paint and they decided they liked it white. So this will be in there. And then another Santa guy is this little salt shaker, pepper shaker. He would have had a pair, but he's just by himself. And he has been, I believe, hand painted, obviously. So cute. He is missing his cork, but I assume he would just be for decoration. So this will be in there as well. They kind of look similar. Cute. Okay, and then I found this little ornament at the antique shop and I think it is so cute. It's got the really traditional colors. I just think it's really nicely done. So we'll have this in there as well. And then if y'all remember from my Christmas thrift haul, I got a bunch of these little cocktail napkins. And since it's like Santa themed, I threw in this little Santa cocktail napkin in this green. Let's see. It's just a little 
little napkin guy. And then, you know me, had to throw in some ephemera. So I found this one shopping today. Another little Santa. I told y'all it was gonna be Santa themed. This big giant Santa face. I think he is so cute. This is vintage. It says made in USA on the back. And it's not written in, so you could actually use it. Here's what it says. So loved that. And then I found this greeting card for you as well. I thought the image on there was so pretty. And I wanted the colors to all go together like that red, green, and white. And this one is stamped, dated I think 1913. And there's some writing on there. So you'll get that. And then I included some of these, um, they're like Christmas gift tag stickers or for presents and stuff. So these are really cute. This here has Santa on a sled, I think. And then this one. This one's cute. You can like write their name in that box. And then this is my favorite. These really pretty Merry Christmas stickers. So I'll insert a clip of how it all looks together so you can kind of view it as a collection. I hope that a few of you at least like that stuff and you're interested in winning it. I'm gonna make it really simple. All you have to do is be subscribed and like this video, you know, if you love me, but uh, leave a comment down below and then a way that I'll be able to separate just regular comments from the giveaway comments is leave your Instagram handle or if you don't have an Instagram, leave your email and that's how I'll reach out to the winner. I will be using a random comment generator just so it's fair. Um, but yeah, that's all you have to do. I hope you guys like these items. Like I said, thank you so much for watching my video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. If you like my hoodie, it's linked down below and I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.